Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Most Influential Women! Yeah! <laughs> so anyways, hope everybody has had a great week, a great weekend, and an even better day. And if not, then, you know, kick it and trip it and whatever you gotta do, and then, you know, uh, smack it aside this head. So, I <laughs> hope you have a really great day. Um, I have dusted off a new biography on somebody really freaking amazing. I did not know this information, so forgive me if you have already, but I know a lot of people who have not. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to the next most influential woman. So, let's do what we got. All right, guys. As you know, we have a, another amazing inspirational woman to go ahead and dust off and bring out into the spotlight. So, let me introduce you to Ms. Judith Love Cohen. Judith was born on August 16th, 1933. She was an American aerospace engineer. And what's really, really cool is most people actually know about her is that she's Jack Black's mom. Dude, like what? Mind blowing, right? Right? Okay, so not just me, just checking. Okay, <laughs> so that aside, I wanna go ahead and tell you a little bit about her because we don't know about Jack Black's mom. I don't even wanna know her as only Jack Black's mom because as much as he is his own inspiration she did her own work well before he got here so let's see where he got his brains from shall we okay so without further ado let's check her out so what most people may not know is that as a teenager miss judith went to a guidance counselor to talk about her future and profess her deep love of math but the counselor had other advice you know like most counselors whenever it comes to women at a certain point they thought oh i think you should go to a nice finishing school and learn to be a lady forget that mess nah 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 see she wanted to pursue her dreams so instead she studied engineering at usc university of southern california and then later she helped design the program that actually helped save the apollo 13 astronauts and we'll get into that a little bit. Now, in retirement, she also produced books encouraging young girls to follow in her footsteps. And of course, you know, she has a family that is born with some amazing, amazing brains and have lived some amazing lives. But let's back it up just a little bit. So, Judith had an eye on the stars from a very young age. See, she was born in Brooklyn, New York, and again, that was on August 16th, 1933. So this was back in the days whenever it was very, very unheard of for girls to go their own way on things. It's very just starting to go ahead and even think about. Now, originally, initially, she dreamt of studying astronomy, but she had never even heard of a female astronomer. Girls didn't do these things, she later said. The only time I saw a woman doing anything interesting, I had a math teacher who was a woman. So I decided, okay, I'll be a math teacher. Now at home, Cohen hung on every word of her father, who explained geometry using ashtrays. Oh my gosh, I wish I had somebody to go ahead and teach me that stuff hands on like that whenever I was in fifth grade. And by the time she was in fifth grade, other students paid her to do their math homework. What? Now, as a young woman, she shrugged off her counselor's advice and ended up going to Brooklyn College to study math. There, she fell in love with another subject, engineering. But that wasn't all that caught her eye. See, at the end of her freshman year, Cohen met Bernard Siegel, whom she married a few months later. The newlyweds decided to move to Southern California where they began to th grow their family. Now by this point, they've already had three, but she wanted to continue to pursue her studies. She liked to be busy, her son later recalled. Now by 1957, 
Cohen had graduated from USC with a bachelor's and a master's degree in electrical engineering. That's true. So she stayed there for a minute. She wanted to make sure that she was the best expert in her field. Next, she went to work for Space Technology Laboratories, which is a NASA contractor, later called TRW, which is when she fulfilled her childhood dream. She said, I wound up actually being able to do the thing I wanted when I was 10 years old. Now, as an electrical engineer working in the late 1950s and early 1960s, Judith was often the only woman in the room. Only 0.05% of all engineers at that time were women. Again, that's only 0.05% of all engineers. All of them. Now, undaunted, Cohen took on a number of exciting projects. And in her career as a engineer, Cohen worked on a guidance computer for the Minuteman missile called the Abort Guidance System in the Lunar Excursion Module for the Apollo Space Program, which is the ground system for the Tracking Data and Relay System satellite, which orbited for 40 years, among others. Now, Cohen was very dedicated to her work, so she actually went to her office on the day that Jack Black was born. What? Talk about a woman who's dedicated to her field. Whoa. Now, when it was time to go to the hospital, she took with her a computer printout of the problem she was working on. Later that day, she called her boss and told him that she had solved the problem. And, oh yes, the baby was born too. <laughs> But of all Cohen's accomplishments, she took the most pride in her abort guidance system. When the Apollo 13 crew lost power in April 1970, the astronauts used Cohen's AGS to navigate their way back to Earth. That's amazing. That is, that's history books right there. My mother usually considered her work on the Apollo program to be the highlight of her career. Her son, Neil, said. She was there when the Apollo 13 astronauts paid a thank you to the TRW facility in Redondo Beach. Now, saving astronauts wasn't enough for Judith. She also wanted to make sure that young girls had a clear path to enter science and math careers. Unlike, you know, the start that she had where she was told that she should not. So instead, whenever it came to retirement, she published books with her third husband, David Katz, to encourage young girls to study STEM subjects. She acknowledged that she had never had such encouragement except at home and wanted to make that difference. Now she died on July 25, 2016, at the age of 82 years old. And though she may be best known as Jack Black's mother, the actor himself would be the very first person to acknowledge her accomplishments. In an Instagram post on Mother's Day 2019, he posted a picture of her with one of her satellites writing, Judith Love Cohen, aerospace engineer, author of children's books, loving mother of four, Miss You Mom. Now this was an inspirational woman here. I have never been driven so much by work that I took it to the hospital with me while I was having a baby. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> she took control of her life. She had a dream and she went out there and she made it not only come true, but she surpassed it. And then she made sure that the girls behind her had an easier way to get there. Isn't that what we're all supposed to be doing? Take that step forward for yourself and then clear the path behind you because we're all following. We should all inspire each other to be better than we were yesterday, be better than the generations before us, to be better people, better friends, better humans. So let's take this into account. Learn from her, be inspired by her, 
run out there and help somebody else and get there a little bit easier if they weren't before. Be better people. So help me go ahead and add her to the ranks of most influential women because she absolutely deserves to be here. Without further ado, thank you so much, Miss Judith Love Cohen, for being an amazing, amazing aerospace engineer and for helping Apollo 13 get home, for helping inspire girls behind you to go ahead and achieve dreams in the scientific fields when we would have never thought it possible before. Thank you so much. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on another Wednesday of inspiration. I hope that you guys have a really great day, a really great week, and we shall see you next time. So without further ado, hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe, and all the other good stuff. And if you have something nice to say, please, by all means, comment it. If you have somebody to throw out as an idea to go ahead and, and do on another piece, by all means, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, otherwise, have a good day. All right, cool. See you. <laughs>